It's since emerged that, in fact, Janusz Walus is something of a hero. He's seen as a hero by some parts of Polish society, particularly football fans. Professor Rafał Pankowski is a professor at the Institute of Sociology at Collegium Civitas in Poland. He's also a member of an organization called Never Again. They fight fascism. Professor, good afternoon to you, and I really appreciate your time from Poland. Thank you. For us in South Africa, Janusz Walus is a person who tried to create a civil war. Why is he a hero to some people in Poland? Mm. Well, let me, let me stress that Poland has some wonderful traditions of anti-racism and um, international solidarity, but it is true there are certain far-right racist elements in Poland, in Polish society, um, that, uh, that consider Janusz Walus a, a role model, a, a hero. And uh, like you said, this is... Uh, particularly often um, expressed uh, through banners uh, displayed at, uh, at football games at several Polish clubs in, in, in several Polish cities. There is very clearly a, a support network uh, um, focusing on uh, promoting uh, the, um, the symbolism, the, the ideology and the name of, of Janusz Walusz uh, among the among younger people in Poland. Uh, why, <laughs> I suppose, is the question. Is it because, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I realize that Poland was sort, of, uh, was sort of governed, was occupied maybe by a communist government, um, and Chris Harney, our Chris Harney, was a, a leader of the South African Communist Party. Is it about that, or is it straight sort of white supremacy and racism? Well, I don't think it can be uh, uh, explained uh, uh, simply by... Uh, uh, by evoking anti-communism. I don't think that's, uh, uh, that's, the, that's the only explanation. I, I think it is a more general um, illustration of the, of the growth of the racist and neo-fascist uh, movements uh, of, the, of the far right, uh, both in Poland and in, in other countries, in Europe and, and, and beyond. Um, especially in the in the region of Central and Eastern Europe today, there is a growing authoritarian and and, and xenophobic tendency, um, and there is also um, um, an element of uh, acceptance for uh, uh, for political violence. And I think Janusz Walusz uh, becomes becomes a symbol of that growing acceptance of far right violence uh, among some extremist uh, um, elements in, uh, in, in, in a country like Poland today. There's an amazing, an amazing story about the online marketplace, OLX, which is actually owned by Naspass, which is a South African company. Um, it was selling materia around Janusz Walus, scarves, flags, that sort of thing, for football fans. They were celebrating uh, a racist. I mean, is that even allowed under Polish law? Well, um, I would say that, that that should be seen as, as illegal. I would consider it illegal under Polish law. But yes, it, it did it did happen. Um, this this kind of you know gadgets, scarves, uh, and, and and t-shirts um, have been produced and and distributed in uh, in Poland. And uh, we actually raised this issue with the company. Uh, we also raised the issue of other. Uh, racist and, and, and uh, neo-Nazi propaganda items that were sold on the platform. And I have to say that the, the company uh, has reacted in a, in a good way. And um, now we, we have a good cooperation getting rid of these kind of o uh, objects from, from, from that particular platform. Um, so what would happen then if Janusz Walus uh, was released, will probably be released by our, our system, if he went to Poland? How would he be seen? I mean, would he be appearing as a star at football matches? I mean, would he be celebrated? I mean, just the thought actually makes me want to feel sick. Mm. Well, mm, I think that is exactly what, what could happen. Uh, I know for a fact that Janusz Walusz has been in contact with his uh, supporters uh, uh, from Poland, including the far-right uh, extremists and the and, 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 uh, and the football fund groups that, that organized uh, collections uh, for, his, for his legal fund. Um, 
And I think if he, if he ever comes to Poland, that would likely be considered a big victory for the Polish and international uh, far right and, and, and the racists. And that would be, uh, that would be considered an encouragement, uh, a kind of uh, extra legitimacy uh, for, for the kind of ideology um, and the kind of violence that, that Janusz Walusz symbolizes for them. I mean, could it even lead to more violence? You would be seen as a sort of hero, I mean. Uh, yes, I think that would be a, a, a sort of encouragement for uh, far-right and racist violence in, in Poland as well as internationally. That would be my worry, definitely. How does the Polish government, your government, uh, feel about this? I mean, does it have a strong view one way or another about this kind of rise in right-wing fascism, this right-wing extremism, this racism? Uh, well, that is, that is uh, a big part of the problem, un unfortunately. Um, mm, I think that the sort of boundary between uh, political extremism and the political mainstream has been blared in, in, in Poland as, as well as in, uh, in other countries. And uh, there are certain po Polish politicians, political leaders on the, on the extreme right, but also uh, uh, politicians on the level of parliament um, uh, who supported uh, the, the, the glorification of, um, of Janusz Walus. So the, there are certainly at least some politicians in, in, uh, in, in the Polish, uh, in Polish political spectrum, uh, who, who actually, um, subscribe to the, uh, to the, to the glorification of, uh, of Janusz Walus and, and what he stands for. This all seems to be tied up with football. Why is it, why is it connected to football? Mm -hmm. Well, one, one of the reasons is, is that uh, the, the football fan culture in uh, Eastern and Central Europe, including uh, Poland, uh, has been very strongly influenced uh, by, the, mm, mm, by, the, by the culture, by the symbolism of the extreme right. Uh, so it's not uncommon, uh, f unfortunately, uh, it's not uncommon. Uh, for uh, football games in uh, in in Central and Eastern Europe uh, to to become uh, you know sites uh, where racist and, and and fascist symbols are displayed, where uh, racist and and, and, and fascist uh, uh, chants uh, uh, can be heard, and uh, and uh, the, also the you know the, the the pictures, the banners of. of uh, uh, glorification uh, uh, of, with, with Janusz Walusz's face uh, on, on, on them. Uh, that is a part of that far-right racist culture in, uh, in those stadiums. Professor, thank you so much. Professor Rafael Pankowski is a professor in the Institute of Sociology at the Collegium Civitas, also a member of the organization Never Again.